everyone, it is time for another sketchbook update. Uh, I've been drawing quite a bit. This sketchbook's almost full. Uh, it's been about a month since my last video, uh, which was a sketchbook update. Um, that video was called Uninspired Sketchbook because I've been really in an art rut the last uh, couple of months and I feel like I'm digging my way out of it now. Uh, I've been drawing a lot more, a lot more inspired, so hopefully that results in some more videos. So anyway, uh, let's get into this one and kind of see the stuff I've been working on. I, I'll show you the tools for this, uh, Rotring. Um, this is mechanical pencil with 6H lead, which is really like hard lead and it's really light. So I do all my initial drawings with this one. And then I just use uh, another mechanical pencil uh, with HB lead and I go over that and it's much darker. So, and then highlights, I use a Prismacolor white color pencil. Uh, this page is just kind of sketching out some ideas, just really rough, just wanting to sketch and draw, working on just random stuff. Uh, this is kind of like, I don't know, just a fun, big-handed uh, girl, robot hands. She's kind of got a latex bodysuit on. You can kind of see with the shines. Didn't really spend a whole lot of time with this one. Um, I don't think her hips are right, but, you know, not every sketchbook drawing or whatever is going to be perfect or anything. So, But I kind of like this one. I like her... Um, one thing I'm drawing a lot more of is the f trying to put the viewer lower uh, looking up at the character. So instead of drawing like a pointy chin, I'm drawing straight across, which it, when you draw the initial head, that might look kind of odd to you, but you can definitely see it gives you that upward look. And the way you draw the nose also reflects that kind of lowering the, uh, the viewer to ground level. So you'll see that happen quite a few times throughout the sketchbook. And wolf sketches, random. I don't know, just was inspired to draw some wolves, I guess. Uh, here's some funny little characters, little weird robot characters. I uh, think I was kind of messing around with these because my daughter and I were talking and she was drawing some Shopkins and stuff, so I decided to kind of take that style and do some weird little alien characters. That guy's kind of interesting. Uh, some bear guy and like a Howard the Duck kind of sketch. Uh, this one's really rough, but I liked it a lot. This is very, um, this was super quick, not a lot of detail, but you can see, I mean, you're, I was really working on where the viewer was looking at it to where it's not like you're straight on, um, just because I feel like uh, that really adds interest to a drawing. And there's actually even professional artists that I've started noticing, and the more I started looking at this, to draw a lot of their scenes in comic books like directly straight on instead of adding angles. Um, and then the better comic book artists that I've noticed, uh, it was a Wonder Woman comic I was looking through, it was just gorgeous how they changed the perspective and uh, where the viewer was in relationship, and I really like that. So that's something I kind of worked on a lot in this sketchbook. So on Netflix, One Punch Man, <laughs> I watched the entire season of that. I thought it was pretty funny and interesting. It was kind of an interesting take on that. Um, so I decided to sketch kind of my version of One Punch Man. Some terrible, these are terrible sketches, but I was just, I don't know what I was doing here. Just messing around, I guess. Uh, this one. Uh, here's some more random sketches. These are kind of like little hobbit people kind of walking and there's this like they're walking under this little cliff and this scary looking like wolf demon goblin thing is kind of above them. Uh, these are kind of interesting little this guy's kind of interesting. He's really walking towards you like a weird robot guy. Uh, and then this is just a quick sketch weird robot dog sketch down here. Uh, this is a warrior guy that I didn't finish. Uh, yeah, just kind of, and, and again, you can kind of see how you're a little bit lower looking up at this guy. I mean, if you look at how big his leg is, you know, that's the perspective kind of that I was going for on this. So this is when I started drawing 
mermaids. My daughter and I, my daughter is really into mermaids right now, so she absolutely loves this. But I think we plan on doing a uh, just a real simple book of mermaid, different types of mermaids, and whether or not we I ever publish or anything, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be just for her. She has this dinosaur book that talks about like all the different kinds of dinosaurs, so I thought it'd be fun to do a book just full of weird, exotic mermaids. So this is kind of just sketching out some what the mermaids some might look like. Like this is like a queen mermaid. This one's more of a pretty princess type mermaid. Uh, I like this one though because it's pretty dynamic. You can definitely tell she's swimming. There's a lot of movement in it and she's um, kind of coming out at you. I like the pose, like the one hand up by her face. And her face is pretty, which, you know, you want your characters to be likable and pretty sometimes. Uh, this is a shark mermaid. My daughter loved this one. She's definitely going to eat that fish. So she's got this kind of like evil look in her eye. But I, I like this one a lot. I, I do like, again, it's pretty dynamic. Uh, there's a lot of movement in it. Um, so I like this one. I like her sharp teeth. A lot of people thought she's got that like kind of evil attitude look to her. Uh, this is another kind of just queen mermaid. Uh, didn't really have a specific type of mermaid, just trying out different stylistic things like the fins uh, on this one are, are different. I put like kind of tiger stripes from some different fish I was looking at. Well, this one scared my daughter. She did not like this one. This is an Octomaid. Uh, very scary look on her face. Um, I wanted some of the tentacles like coming out at you, uh, but this might be, I don't know if, if this one will make the book. We'll see. Maybe a less scary version of this. The crab mermaid. I, I did the weird eyes. Sometimes you want to like go to that unsettling space as an artist because you do everything kind of like, oh, I'll just do pretty eyes and this or that. Sometimes it's fun to go weird and do weird stuff. So she's got weird crab eyes poking out of her face. This is a jelly maid, which I like this one too. You can kind of see uh, uh, her body on the inside of this, like it just dissolves into the jellyfish. And the other cool thing too, um, if you can see, I kind of did like her head is translucent. And you can kind of see her brain in her head there in the upper part. So this is definitely a kind of weird out there mermaid. I liked it though. So that's it for the sketchbook update. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, the mermaids, I feel like, were the thing that really got me back into my routine and really being excited about drawing again. And I realized I really need to, whatever, whether it's month to month or week to week, I just really need to have kind of a direction to go. And it just really helps me stay motivated and it, it helps me be creative. Uh, I'm somebody that needs ideas to enjoy my art. I need to um, be thinking about the things I want to draw. I can't just be somebody that like just reproduces images or anything like that. I have to really be creative with stuff to really stay motivated. So I feel like I've kind of gotten back into that and I, I definitely feel more reinvigorated for sure. So uh, hopefully, like I said, I can have some more videos up for you guys uh, soon. I've got one that I'm filmed three times and I, I can't get it right. I'm just sucking right now, but uh, that one, I, I think, I think I'll, I got it now. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later.